All right, welcome back to another tutorial in Maya. And in this one, what we're going to learn how to do is do some keyframing. So what I'll do is create a, an animation that's fairly simple. It's just a single camera that rows from the foreground into the background. And then we have some various spinning geometry here, just a cube and an object that I've created. And essentially, that's what we're going to be uh, working with here. So it's really simple. And let's get started. I'm going to pause that. And let's just open up a, a new scene. I already have a, a scene ready to go. Um, so let's, uh, I don't need to save those. This is essentially the same thing. I've just rebuilt it. And um, now that I'm looking at this scene, I want to do a quick change. Uh, so let's uh, click on this geometry right here, this key that I've, I've created. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into face mode real quick. Or actually, we're going to assign this, this green color to the inside here. So essentially what I want to do is maybe just assign an existing material, which that green is the Lambert 3. And as you can see, we're all green there. And now I want to assign a different color to this face. So I'm going to go ahead and just click on the object, right mouse click, and go to face mode. And I'm going to click once on that front face. And then we're going to come around here to the back, go to our choose tool, and then shift, hold down the shift button and click that back. And now I'm going to right mouse click, come down to assign existing material, and go to that Lambert 2, which is our, our black. So now I've assigned that. And let's just see what it looks like. I'll just click anywhere outside of here. And now you can see where, you know, I my faces on the inside are green, and those are now black on the outside. So that works pretty good. Uh, I think I might want to go back and change the color of this black a little bit. So I'm just going to go ahead and right mouse click and come over here and go back into object mode. That lets us just basically choose the object and not, not faces. So in this case, I want to take a look at my hypershade. And I have a Lambert 2 assigned to this right here. So I'll go ahead and click that Lambert 2 and come over here and in your tab section, now you can see you have Lambert 2 and here's our color. I'm going to go ahead and just sort of adjust that color. I'll click in there and maybe bring it up into a, a mid-gray, something, like, uh, something like that. And I'll just go ahead and hit Accept. Let's minimize this hypershade and we'll take a quick render view. Now I have my render in my dock, so I'm going to click on that. And let's just click the render button. And as you can see, this is sort of what it looks like now. Um, we have the sphere and this key, and it, uh, it's a little bit lighter. So that'll help us out a little bit. OK, great. Now I've also assigned on this object, I went into face mode right there, and I assigned these faces with that same Lambert. So now these um, are the same color as this. So this is basically just going to help us see the rotation of this object, which we're going to do first. So. I'll right mouse click, go back into object mode, and let's choose that sphere. Now as you can see we're in tab mode here. Let's look at our, our properties of translation here. And what you can see is that we have uh, various things that we can keyframe right here. And this is where you'll be doing a lot of keyframing. So let's look at where our time slider is set at. It's at frame zero. I have a 300 frame animation. Yeah, I just clicked in here and set this to 300. And there you go. So now we're on frame one. And what we want to do is we want to rotate this around 360 degrees. So in order to do that, I'm just going to click on my rotate right here and make sure that that's highlighted and active. And as you can see, it comes up with the rotation uh, tool there. And I'm going to set a keyframe for zero. So on the keyboard, I'm going to click the letter S. And as you can see, it leaves a uh, little red tick mark there. That indicates that there's a keyframe on frame one. So now let's move the time slider all the way to the end. OK. And on the rotate, at this point, at the end of the animation, we want that uh, object to be rotating at 360 degrees. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. And then push down S on the keyboard again to set a keyframe. Now, if we click on the play button, you can see that that's nicely 
rolling around and it's going to rotate 360 degrees and it's basically just going to loop because it's 360 degrees as the um, animation goes back to the beginning it goes back to frame one and then starts rotating again to 360 degrees all right so there we have that now let's look at this object we want to make this rotate and if we go to the properties of this let's see what where our rotation is going to be I'm gonna click on the rotate tool as you can see here this is sort of offset from the center point of here so if I were to rotate this now if I were to, to click on this line and then move it around you can see where it's not really doesn't really have a center pivot and it's not perfectly aligned with that uh, with that geometry of the sphere so I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna do an edit undo and in this case I'm gonna try and see if I can reset this um, pivot point basically to the center of this so in this case what I'll do is come up to modify and what I want to do is reset transformations right there okay I'm gonna reset that now as you can see when I reset the transformations it basically took this object and then told Maya that hey this is the center point for pivoting so now if I were to grab this right here you can see where it's it's sort of pivoting directly around the object and you might be, um, encounter that quite a few times uh, as you're keyframing so that's just something to be aware of okay so let's look at how we want this to rotate we want to basically rotate this object so if I click here and rotate a little bit you can see where it's rotating on the X axis and I know this because it's showing up here as being the only thing changed in in on that object so let's let's undo what we just did just to find that out and let's switch to the x-axis and we have zero marked so let's start it out at zero and because we have this highlighted right here I can now push s on the on the keyboard and that leaves me a keyframe right there and now I'm gonna bring this all the way to the end just like we did with the sphere and I'm gonna switch this X um, axis right here to 360 I'm gonna click on that now oh, you have to make sure that after you um, move the time slider and type in your value that you push S on the keyboard and always helps I always forget and sometimes things go awry so now that I set that I'm gonna go ahead and hit play and as you can see we have two objects that are now rotating and they're fairly centered and that's kind of what we're going for at the moment so that looks good all right now I'm gonna go back to the beginning of the animation let's hit our home view right here and let's just click outside of here somewhere and as you can see I've already created a camera down here so I'm, I'm gonna basically delete that and we'll start again let's come here to create and let's create a camera camera right there and we're gonna have to move that camera back a little bit so I'm gonna click there and I'm gonna move this camera back and I'm gonna move it over here and then I'm going to rotate this camera around so that it's pointing at my geometry so we'll grab our rotation tool and we'll just rotate it sort of like that now as you can see the rotate on Y position is at 40.739 I can easily just click in there and set it at a perfect 45 degree angle now it, as we have this camera chosen we can look directly through that camera by going to look through selected and that's what our camera sees so if I were to play the animation at this point that is what it's gonna look like from that camera view now we haven't animated that camera yet so let's do that let's bring this back to frame zero and now that we're looking through this camera we're actually um, we can control it a little bit by just uh, moving it around so I'm gonna I'm gonna come down here a little bit and come above the grid because half of this object is as below the grid half of this objects below the grid let's move all of these up just a little bit okay so I'm gonna click on my choose tool there and I'm gonna select this geometry and I'm gonna move everything up all at once I'm just gonna move it up like that okay 
So now this is what the camera sees. It's going to see that geometry moving and there it is. So let's animate this camera. Um, you can do it several different ways. Um, you could basically come over here and look through the camera and animate it. Um, the, the easiest way in some cases is to come back to our perspective view and we'll go into perspective view and now you can see we, we can see where the objects are and let's let's just click on that camera and now you can see we have the various translation values for the camera and what we're gonna do is just move this we're gonna set a keyframe so I'm gonna make sure that I'm set on the first frame of the animation and let's click on all of these um, let's just click on our three translate values and we're gonna set a keyframe so I'm gonna hit S on the keyboard now that sets a keyframe and I'm going to move it to the very end of the animation up to 300 and let's grab our move tool and let's just manually move this camera sort of over to this position right here and that'll be the ending position and I want to hit S on the keyboard and that sets another keyframe for right there and now we're ready to to see everything in motion I can see the camera moving, I can see uh, the, the objects moving, and that looks pretty good. So let's do this. Let's do one more trick. I'm going to click on this light right here, and as you can see, I've got the um, values right here. That's where it's sitting in space right now. I'm going to go ahead and click S, and that sets a keyframe for that light. Now I'm going to move it all the way over here to the 300 and we're going to move that light as well all the way across the scene something like that okay and then I'm going to push S on the keyboard to set another keyframe and we're going to watch that so now you can see we have all sorts of stuff going on here we have a light that's moving we have geometry that's moving and a camera that's moving okay so let's take a look at what this looks like um, we're going to look through our camera so I'm going to choose this camera and I'm going to come down here and in this case let's just go to, to camera one that's our perspective let's look through camera one and let's play the animation so I'm going to click play and there it is looks pretty good uh, this is basically simple keyframing um, you'll have more control over it in the graph editor which is the subject for a whole another tutorial um, but at the moment uh, you can see where we've got some things in motion now and things are getting interesting so go ahead and play around with that concept um, keyframe various objects you can make them move around any way you want um, it's part of the that's probably the best thing about Maya is that you can you can do stuff like this and it's just so easy so get this basics of keyframing down and um, enjoy so there you go hope you had a good time on this tutorial uh, read a book and uh, have a great day <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching.